I bought a box of Halloween costume returns. At least, I thought it was one box. Turns out we have 27 boxes. And in our first one were these two Tinkerbell costumes. So if anybody wants to twin with me, look at the little wings. I paid $1,250 for all of these Halloween costumes and supposedly they're all worth $12,500. That's like a 90% discount if that's legit. This one doesn't exist anymore, but the newer version that Disney came out with is $70. So I'm sure this one cost about the same, which means we have $140 worth of costumes so far. I'm going to be selling all of these costumes to you for one penny with the help of today's video sponsor, Shopify. Box number two. We have 250 Halloween costumes total. It's uh oh, this one has two as well. Vault Boy? Does anybody know what this is from? It looks like a video game. I think it's for kids, but it's an XXL, so maybe I can fit into it. Hang on. Okay, some costumes I feel like are really cute on a little kid, but then when they're on an adult, they're really creepy. <laughs> this is terrifying. Oh, oops. I feel like at one point, a lot of us have returned to Halloween costume or at least a piece of it after we used it. So I wonder if that's what happened with a lot of these. Ah! <laughs> oh, this one's already open, perfect. Oh my gosh. Can you tell what it is? It's Olaf. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. And it's really soft. Catch me just hanging out in my house wearing this. Okay, this is genuinely such a comfy Halloween costume and so warm. But wait for the best part. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Why is this one so heavy? Ah! It's OMG outrageous millennial girls. What are these? There's one. Six of them. Oh my gosh, no. And then in each pack, there's two. So we have 12 of these. I mean, they're cute. Wait, more Tinkerbells. Two more Tinkerbells. <laughs> I'm excited to see what costume we have the most of. I think it's time for a giant one. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, wait, these ones all look brand new in the packaging too. So I wonder if some of these were returns, but it looks like some of these just never got sold. One. Sixteen pink Supergirl costumes. And then there's two 32 pink Supergirls. So cute. The top is like velvety with the sparkles. Dang it, I wish it was my size. These costumes bring us to almost $2,000 worth total. That's way over the $1,250 we initially spent. Oh my gosh, these are so heavy. Oh, I see Marvel. It's... Spider Gwen! Guys, these are like legit costumes. I thought we would get just like the ugly ones that nobody wanted, but that's actually so cute. Okay, two. 16 Gwens. This is actually the skin in Fortnite that I wish I had with my pink hair. Okay, I'm trying it. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite one so far. <laughs> These are not comfy. I don't like this part of the costume. I'm so excited to rehome these to people that will actually use them rather than them just ending up in the landfill. We're all about to be looking really cute for Halloween though. Oh my gosh. It's Captain Hook. <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> Tyler, this is your costume. <laughs> Look at the shoe covers. That is 100% your costume this year. No, I'm literally ready like with these shoes to like sprint to every door to get <laughs> steal all the candy. Technically, we've more than doubled our investment at this point. Next. Leave. <laughs> Next. More Olaf costumes. <laughs> Two more. I lost track of what box we're on, but I think we've already got our money's worth. <laughs> It's a, another OMG LOL surprise girl. Oh, cute. <laughs> okay, we've got seven times two, 14 of these. <laughs> oh yeah, these are age four to six year olds. It's so cute though. <laughs> these come with a lot of good accessories too. Oh, the little shorts, a button and socks. I bet we have to have at least like a hundred costumes by now. This is great. <laughs> Next, you probably guessed it, two more Olaf costumes. <laughs> We're just gonna have a whole army. Oh my gosh, more of these OMG girls. <laughs> this time size medium. Dang it, I lost a nail in this box. Where'd it go? Another little one. I feel like this one's gonna be Tinkerbells again. My feeling was correct. <laughs> two more Tinkerbells. 
Let's do a giant one. Oh no, I just broke two more nails. This box has really been through it. <laughs> oh, I see hats. Lots of hats. All right, we've got eight of these, but what is it? Voodoo witch doctor. <laughs> nice. I mean, we'll try it on. I don't think it'll be a favorite, but. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I was thinking, thinking that any of these kids' costumes would fit me. <laughs> I mean, the hat does and the necklace, but these shorts are, they're pretty little. <laughs> if you're enjoying this video, subscribe so that you don't miss more like it. Next. It's, oh, SWAT costume. Two of them. I actually like this helmet. Kind of goes good with my fairy costume. Size medium boys. Anna. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wait, what did it come with? A taser? Flashlight, a walkie-talkie, and some binoculars. And no pants. <laughs> Why would it not come with pants? As I've been opening these, I've been thinking to myself, I could literally open a Halloween costume store with all of these costumes. And I'm gonna do exactly that because I'm going to be selling them for one penny on my online store, which is powered by Shopify, the sponsor of today's video. I've been doing this fun series where I buy from your small businesses, but the problem is a lot of you that I talk to don't have your own store to sell your cool products. Through, which makes fulfilling orders and taking payments complicated. And having a platform like Shopify makes it so much easier for literally anyone. There's no technical experience required to start and grow your business both online, in person, and on all of the major social media platforms. I've been using Shopify for over five years now, and they power millions of other businesses across 175 countries. Shopify also has a huge ecosystem of third-party apps that allow you to customize your stores no matter what you're selling. They give entrepreneurs the resources that are usually reserved only for big businesses. I am selling these costumes for one penny on my website on Monday. So if you've always dreamed of having your own store, get your free trial by scanning this pumpkin or going to shopify.com slash hopescope. I have a good feeling about this next one. <gasps> no way. Stranger Things Robin. And there's so many of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, adult size, large, extra large. Yeah. There's 30 of these. Guys, we can create a whole Stranger Things hopeful army of Robins with these. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this one on. Okay, Spider Gwen was my favorite, but this one might actually be my favorite. This is a cute costume. And then Tyler could wear one and be Steve. It's adorable. And I love that it comes with all the pieces, the little vest and the hat. This is just easy, comfy Halloween costume. Hope scope approved. And this box puts us at over $6,000 worth of costumes so far. But will it be the $12,500 promised? Next up, the ugliest box. <laughs> Why is this box so dirty? Cannot be opened before October 4th, 2019. This was serious, whatever it was. Okay, let's see. No. No. <laughs> It's more Olaf's, but this time it's toddler <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mommy and me, Olaf's. <laughs> 12 mini Olaf's in here. <laughs> oh, here's the little hat. <laughs> oh, we could fit in this still. It would just be a shirt on us instead of a whole outfit. Another big one. It's oh, pirate. Oh my goodness, wait. And it's my size. There's so many of these my size. It's like it was meant to be. Okay, so we've got two in each pack. She's cute. I always wanted to be a pirate growing up, but these costumes were so expensive back in the day. I finally get to live out my dream. Oh, it even comes with the hat. 10 of these in case any of you want to live out that dream with me. <laughs> This one's cute and it comes with a lot of pieces. I would say this one is in my top three for sure. <laughs> I don't know if I'm wearing the hat right though. How much do you want to bet there's Olaf's in this? It's not Olaf's. It's a bug exterminator. <laughs> 12 of them kid size large. No. Oh, I'm kind of scared of this costume. Look at it. It has like actual bugs. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, I see why this one didn't sell. It's kind of freaky. <laughs> Got pest control? <laughs> why do I get stuck with the ugly costumes? Who <laughs> came up with this idea? Like, what kid is gonna walk into the store and be like, I wanna be that? That's why it's in your video. <laughs> this one weighs like nothing. It feels like hats or something. It's... Oh, it's more of the SWAT costumes. Three more to be exact. This one. Yeah. 
Oh, wait. We haven't had wigs yet. 24 of them. I really hope somebody wants these. Cause oh, it comes with this cute hair clip. Let's try one. Oh, this was definitely made for kids. Okay, it's cute. I don't think all my hair would fit in it, but what are these bangs supposed to be doing? Not this. <laughs> it's kind of adorable. I see pink. It's Birds of Prey. Oh, is that the Harley Quinn movie? I actually didn't see this movie, but I think it's a onesie Harley Quinn. <laughs> Literally my size again. This is so great. <laughs> Wait, this one's also like actually low key really comfy. <laughs> We've got 10, 10 of these. Well, none of us can figure out uh, what part of the movie this is actually from, but it's really comfy, I will say. <laughs> this is gonna be my Halloween costume from now on. And they'll be like, what are you supposed to be? Harley Quinn, duh. Oh, this box isn't in good shape either. Let's see here. It's a... Wow. <laughs> Messy baker. I think it's a toddler size and she's literally just a table. Oh my gosh, that's funny. And there's just like butter and like spilled stuff. <laughs> that's really cute. Oh, it comes with like a little, a little cupcake. It's such a, my mom picked this costume and I had no say in it type of costume. It's, ooh, Joker. Wait, no, the Riddler. Are those different things? Medium child size. And there is 16 of these. We now have over $10,000 worth of costumes. We're getting so close to that 12,500 mark. Ah, it's a Overwatch. I don't know who it is, but that's a pretty cool costume to be honest. <laughs> Kid size medium. And there's three of them. It's a hat. A hat, but there's a rest of a costume too. Oh, way cute. It's a little teen firefighter outfit. That's actually adorable. And there's seven of these. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Our last box. It's... <laughs> Leader inflatable. <laughs> I was hoping we'd get at least one inflatable costume in here. This is not what I thought. <laughs> oh no. 10 of them. <laughs> what am I gonna do with 10 of these? Is it inflating? Yeah. Time lapse. Is it just supposed to stay on? Or do you turn it off? No. Yeah. Is he gonna explode? <laughs> <laughs> and with that, the worth of all of these costumes is added up, and the final total is... $11,134. So we came a little bit short on our $12,500 goal, but that's still only $5 per costume. So was it worth it? Yes. But does the average person have any use for 250 Halloween costumes? No, but it was fun anyway. 